Recent astronomical data are challenging one of Einstein's most enduring ideas, the cosmological constant. Observations from the Dark Energy Survey and Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument DESI, now suggest that dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating the universe's expansion, may not be constant after all. Researchers at the University of Chicago have developed new physics-based models indicating that this energy might be slowly evolving over time, changing how we understand cosmic acceleration and the universe's long-term future. In this video, we'll explore what this discovery means, the evidence behind it, and what could come next. Let's get started. For more than two decades, astronomers have worked with a simple but powerful assumption that dark energy is constant, an intrinsic property of empty space that never changes. This cosmological constant introduced by Einstein has been the cornerstone of the Lambda CDM model, which explains most observations of the cosmos with remarkable accuracy. However, recent analyses combining data from multiple large-scale surveys have begun to reveal small but consistent discrepancies. The Dark Energy Survey and the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, along with observations from the Planck mission, have mapped the universe's expansion with unprecedented precision. When these datasets were compared, researchers noticed that the rate of cosmic expansion in the recent universe appeared slightly slower than predicted by the standard model. The difference is subtle, roughly a 10% decrease in dark energy density over several billion years, but statistically meaningful. It hints that dark energy strength might not be perfectly constant. To test this idea, Astrophysicists Josh Freeman and Anwar Shajib at the University of Chicago developed models describing dark energy as a dynamic field, rather than a fixed number. Published in Physical Review D in 2025, their study found that these evolving models fit the data better than the traditional constant energy approach. In their framework, dark energy behaves like an extremely light axion-like particle a field that stayed nearly stable for most of cosmic history, but began to change recently, similar to a ball slowly rolling down a shallow slope. As this field evolves, its energy density decreases slightly, matching what the latest measurements suggest. While the effect is small and still under scrutiny, it could mark the first observational sign that dark energy, the dominant component of our universe, is not a static property of space, but a living, changing force woven into the fabric of the cosmos. If confirmed, this would be one of the most profound shifts in cosmology since the discovery of cosmic acceleration itself. Einstein originally introduced the cosmological constant in 1917 to maintain a static universe, later discarding it after expansion was discovered. Ironically, it resurfaced decades later as the simplest explanation for the accelerating universe. The concept was elegant, a constant vacuum energy driving expansion at a steady rate. The new findings suggest that this explanation might be incomplete. Instead of a fixed constant, dark energy may act like a scalar field, an evolving quantity whose value changes as the universe ages. Such fields naturally arise in many particle physics and string theory frameworks. They also bridge cosmology with quantum physics, implying that cosmic acceleration could be governed by microscopic processes rather than a universal constant. Freeman and Shajib's model focuses on an ultralight axion, far lighter than any known particle. In this picture, the universe's expansion proceeded as expected for billions of years, until the axion field began to move, slowly reducing the strength of dark energy. This physical model explains both the current expansion data and some of the tensions that have puzzled cosmologists. Most notably, the Hubble constant tension, the persistent mismatch between measurements of the universe's expansion rate near and far, an evolving dark energy field could smooth out that discrepancy by slightly altering the expansion history, making distant and local observations more consistent. These models also fit well within the framework of quantum field theory. 
In them, dark energy isn't an arbitrary constant. It's an emergent property of a field that evolves according to physical laws. That idea links the largest scales in the universe to the smallest, from cosmic structure to subatomic physics. It's too early to call this a replacement for lambda CDM. The evidence remains tentative, and systematic effects could still explain the signal. But even the possibility that dark energy might evolve has re-energized theoretical cosmology, opening a new window on how space, time, and matter interact at the deepest level. If dark energy truly changes over time, it reshapes both our understanding of the cosmos and its long-term fate. Under the traditional constant model, the universe's expansion keeps accelerating forever, leading eventually to a big freeze, galaxies drifting apart until stars burn out and space grows dark and cold. In contrast, if dark energy slowly weakens, the rate of acceleration would also decline. The universe would still expand indefinitely, but more gently, avoiding extreme outcomes such as the Big Rip where acceleration becomes so intense that even atoms are torn apart. This evolving picture describes a cosmos that remains dynamic but stable, expanding, cooling, and aging over trillions of years. Practically, such a shift would affect how astronomers interpret every measurement tied to cosmic expansion, distances, galaxy clustering, and even the distribution of dark matter. Precise knowledge of dark energy's behavior feeds directly into the values of key cosmological parameters, so verifying whether it changes is essential. Fortunately, the tools to do that are arriving now. The Verici Rubin Observatory in Chile will soon begin its legacy survey of space and time, LSST tracking billions of galaxies and supernovae to map how the expansion rate evolves. The European Space Agency's Euclid Telescope, launched in 2023, is already mapping the geometry of the universe in exquisite detail. DESI will continue collecting spectroscopic data that trace the three-dimensional structure of cosmic matter. Together, these instruments will provide a decisive test. If dark energy is truly dynamic, their combined observations should detect consistent signatures across different epochs and scales. Beyond astronomy, the implications reach deep into fundamental physics. A verified change in dark energy density would suggest that the vacuum of space itself is not immutable, that its properties evolve with time. This could connect cosmology with quantum field phenomena, modified gravity theories, or the early universe inflation field that once drove rapid expansion. Whatever the outcome, the search for evolving dark energy pushes science toward a more integrated understanding of nature, linking the cosmic and the quantum in a way we've never observed before. Dark energy may not be constant after all. It could be slowly evolving with time. If confirmed, this would reshape our understanding of cosmic expansion and Einstein's equations. The universe, it seems, is still revealing how it truly works.